Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I'm I'm back with a really quick video this time. I promise. I always say it's quick, and it and it's usually longer, but it, this should be very quick. Um, this is going to be just a uh, a, a simple push pull uh, object. So you have an object. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a crate uh, that you want to be able to push or pull to move it around for you know say some sort of puzzle. Uh, you know, you're, you you need to have them move things in order uh, to put them on pressure plates or, you know, to move them out of the way of things, you know, to slide things around so you can open up uh, a passageway or something. So it's a very, very simple push-pull um, tutorial. And you can, you can then uh, expand upon this. Like, for instance, there's one for a boulder, and, and a boulder is animated. It rolls, right? Uh, so that's a little different than a crate. But So this is a push-pull system uh, just very, very quickly for a crate uh, or something or a similar object like this down here, a table, where if you want to move a table out of the way uh, because there's a secret passage underneath, right? So uh, it's very, very simple. Let me show you what it does in the game. And so here we go. I'm going to move up here. This is the crate. And whenever I uh, face or when I, whenever, whenever I touch it, it immediately pops up and says, push, pull, or leave alone. If I leave it alone, it doesn't do anything, right? And then if I try to move forward, it does the same thing again, push, pull. If I push, it moves and I follow it. And if I do it again, it I follow it. And if I want to move it this way, I can pull it. And pull it right and I can just basically move it anywhere I want by doing that okay very very simple pushing and pulling an object um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop that there's only it's only uh, it's limited the event is it's a single event on the uh, object itself right so you could do this with any object where it's reasonable that the player would be able to push it or pull it right and so anything you can conceive of and come up with on how to uh, of why you would want a player to push or pull something um, you can implement this so here it's a single page on the event the event is um has the image so you know it's it's not a a map uh you know like from a tile set it's we're using an image for the event it's of a box um there's no options down here there's no movement down here it's same as player uh, it's set to player touch i mean you could change it to action button if you wanted to uh it just all depends on what your preference is and then the magic is happening here with the contents as soon as, you, in this instance, you touch it, or if you were to action button and you were to click on it, you get your show choices, right? And your choices are push, pull, leave alone, right? And you do whatever you want to there. But push, pull, leave alone. Uh, the default choice is choice one for push. The cancel choice is three for leave it alone. So if they were to try to escape out, it's going to automatically leave it alone. And then um, when push... All we're doing here is we're setting movement routes. So this one is set movement route for this event, which is the uh, box, move away from player, and then set movement route player, right? So the actual, you know, the player themselves is going to step one, one step forward. So here we go. We're here where we set movement route, and we're going to make sure we use this event the first time because we want to move the box first. We just select the one thing, move away from player, right? So from these commands over here, we're going to uh, select uh, move away from player. And uh, skip if cannot be cannot move, wait for completion. Essentially, we shouldn't be trying to, well, it's you never know what the player might do, right? The player might try to push it when they when it can't go anywhere, um, you know, or, or things like that. So that's skip if can't move. In fact, we can test that in just a second. But that's the simple thing for the box, okay? Um, and then for the player, it's the exact same thing, only you make sure it's set to player up here. It's one step forward because you're going to follow that box. You're pushing it. Skip if cannot move, wait for completion, and, and it's pretty much done. When pull, we're going to do the the uh, the opposite direction. So we're going to set movement route of the player. So the player is going to move first. The player is going to step backwards. And then we're going to set movement route of the event. So the box is going to essentially move towards the player as if it's being pulled. 
So again, very, very simple, right? Player, step one, one step backwards, skip uh, if you can't move, wait, and then the um, movement route of the event, this event, move towards player, skip if cannot move, wait for completion. And then when leave alone, you don't do anything. It basically just exits, exits the event until you touch it again or if you activate it again. Um, so that's that's it. Um, and, you know, again, um, how we got there was um, uh, for doo -doo -doo -doo, page two, set movement route, right? And then that's where you get your uh, your command, right? Your, your event command is set movement route. Um, so that's the simple thing there. And then uh, let's let's test again to see what happens if we try to move it uh, someplace where it's not able to go. So let's go up here and we'll go, okay, I'm going to push it. And I'm going to push it again. And I'm going to try to push it again. Okay, now it shouldn't let me push it. Oh, it doesn't. See? So I can't do it anymore. Um, how about if I try to pull it? Whoops, I pushed it. Sorry. Wrong one. Uh, pull. 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 And now let's see if it shouldn't let me do it again. Nope, it just skips it. So that's it. That's why we have that skip if, if cannot um, move option, right? So when we're inside here, um, skip if cannot move. That way it, you don't have a problem. It will just keep you from doing it if you try, if the player tries to go somewhere where it, it you know, isn't supposed to be able to go. Uh, and that is it for uh, a simple push-pull system for, an, for any object that could reasonably be pushed or pulled. Set movement route of the event and then the player for when you're pushing it. Set movement route of player and then the event when you're pulling it. And it's just one step forward uh, or moving it forward or away from the player. And that is literally it for, for that functionality of how you do that. So anyway, um, I told you this would be quick. Uh, it's true. <laughs> you know, um, it, I hope this helped somebody if this is what you're looking for. It, it really is that simple. Um, you know, hey, please watch my other uh, tutorials, see if those help you out. And, um, you know, I'm glad you found my channel. If, if these uh, tutorials are helpful, you know, please like, subscribe, get notifications so that when I uh, post new videos, you'll be notified. And then leave comments. Uh, let me know, like I've said in previous tutorials, let me know uh, what you're working on, how you implement some of this stuff, things that it makes you imagine, uh, you know, your creativity. Uh, if there's other resources that you want to share with people on their journey in learning RPG Maker, uh, MZ or MV, um, then, you know, by all means, share them. And because uh, I'm still learning too, and, and this is why I'm making these videos, just to share with people uh, for the things I've learned how to do. Um, and again, I think I've said it before, big, big, huge thank you for all the people who came before, uh, who, who made tutorials for MV uh, for all those years and then made tutorials for MZ when it came out. And who for those people who are still doing tutorials, um, still helping out uh, over on RPG Maker Web too, uh, that, that's a great resource. Thank you very much, folks. I have you, hope you have a great afternoon. Uh, in the meantime, happy, uh, happy gaming and happy game developing, and I will talk to you later.